Fire has always existed in California. But climate change and decades of poor forest management are fueling its intensity. I'm CAP Radio data reporter Emily Zentner. And I'm web developer Liz Anderson. We're going to guide you through how to use CAP Radio's California Wildfire History Map to learn about trends leading the state to more destructive fire seasons. As the climate changes, we're seeing warmer, drier weather and a buildup of dry fuel and forests. This combination is increasing both the intensity and the length of fire season. During the summers, we're now seeing larger, faster burning, more destructive fires. We're seeing this extreme destructive behavior continue into the cooler fall months as temperatures stay high and intense winds blow. The wine country fires of 2017 became a turning point for the state and highlighted the impact of warm overnight temperatures on fires. Aging utility infrastructure adds another dangerous element to fire season. For example, damaged PG&E power lines caused 2018's campfire, which became the deadliest wildfire in California history. When fires reach this intensity, they can even create their own weather systems, like the Car Fire's fire tornado. As climate change continues and fuel loads aren't managed, experts predict destructive behavior will continue. We saw this in 2020 and 2021 when the state saw some of its largest fires on record. 2021's data will be added to this map later this year when it becomes available. You can explore California's wildfire history for yourself at capradio.org slash wildfirehistory.